uh, once all the water is removed, then we will dry the movement. And you can make a homemade dryer box like I have. I bought this large Tupperware container, as you can see. And what you do is you put the movement in the bottom, put a hair dryer through the top, and you're going to blow dry the movement. And you have a couple exhaust holes cut on each side. And what I use to make the holes is a hand drill, and this is a, a attachment that's used to drill holes in doors to to make a, to, to put the door hardware on. It's the same thing I'm using for uh, making the holes into this uh, container here. So this is going to be my drying unit, and we will dry the movement um, in this box. All right. Next, we're going to put our our uh, movement into a, into the dryer box. So we got our dryer box here. Take the lid off. Just place the movement down at the bottom. Put the lid on. Your dry, a dryer hose down the hole. Plug it in and let it run for a few minutes until it thoroughly dries the unit. Just run it on high. Alright, I think our movement is dry now. So I'm going to remove the hair dryer, take the lid off, and pull out the uh, movement. Most likely the movement, the brass itself is going to be very hot to the touch so you want to let it uh, cool for a while before you actually touch it. Uh, so the next thing what we'll do is we'll go back to the bench and examine all the parts and uh, look for uh, wear, signs of wear and uh, any other uh, aspects and review those.